Hi everyone, this is Caleb Quirin with KPMG. We're here at AppSec California 2017, uh, right here in Santa Monica by the beach. We're with Zulfikar Ramzan, the CTO of RSA. Zulfikar, how are you? Uh, terrific. I mean, this is a fantastic conference, fantastic venue. Couldn't have asked for a better day. So we'd like to hear a little bit about your recent work, which you talked about in your presentation, I'm sure, among many other things you're working on. But tell us a little bit about um, your presentation today on cybersecurity and machine learning. So, you know, machine learning has become a really huge buzzword in the cybersecurity community. It seems like every vendor you talk to is talking about doing machine learning in one way, shape, or form. And yet it's hard for the typical consumer of those technologies or the practitioner to figure out what works and what doesn't. They're either looking at what the vendor is saying, which may not be that balanced, or they're trying to parse an academic paper without understanding what it takes to make that paper a reality. So my purpose today was to provide more of a balanced view of machine learning, talking about not just the positive applications, but some of the challenges and pitfalls, and really thinking about it in a more holistic context. So do you have any takeaways for decision makers and their implementers, right? Because we have, uh, you know, audience members may include decision makers like the purchasers and, and then the engineers and specialists on the ground who actually may have to do this. And I can imagine the message may be different for each, but there's definitely considerations from your talk that I think about when uh, you were up there. Sure. So I have a couple of really key takeaways. The first key takeaway is in machine learning, it's all about the data. Machine learning is garbage in, garbage out. You can build the fanciest algorithm on the planet, but if you're starting with bad data in the first place, you will not be able to draw good inferences from it. So really focus on how your vendor or how you're incorporating data into your machine learning system. The second key takeaway is that it's really about looking at the features that are looked at within that data context. So it's not just about taking data and being able to analyze it blindly, but understanding how do you take the features that are relevant for machine learning and put them into reality. And then finally, the last key takeaway is think about the metrics that matter to you. Typical vendors will produce something like a true positive or detection rate. They might give you a false positive rate. You've got to look at all the numbers they provide you with, but more importantly, think about what those numbers mean for you specifically. Because if somebody finds a true positive on a little bad file, that, that's great, but if they accidentally take a false positive on a file that's a critical thing for your business, that's a really bad thing. So it's not just about the individual numbers and rates, but the underlying story beneath them. And you've got to look at things much more deeply and carefully, not just treat machine learning as a panacea to solve all your problems. There's a running joke in our community that folks should not roll their own crypto, as it were. Should people, based on your observations, roll their own uh, machine learning? Absolutely not. Never roll your own machine learning, only because there's so many nuances in how to implement these things correctly. It takes someone who understands the field to know when you've actually run into a fundamental mistake and when the models you've produced are not going to work well in real life. So I wouldn't try to roll your own, but I would try to be very cognizant. I wouldn't treat everything as a black box either. It's about understanding what's inside that black box and how it works at a deeper level. The other thing I think about as I was listening to your presentation is that whatever time the decision maker has probably put on paper for a machine learning project to take place, they should probably actually you know, go 1.5 times or longer, right? Because this is not something, A, that you can do very well the first time around, and B, uh, you actually need to continue devoting resources to it. It's not just a one and done, right? Correct, yeah. You know, in our industry, we're dealing with a sentient adversary who's going to adapt all the time. We can't just set it and forget it and hope it's going to work in the long term. The bad guys are going to figure ways around what we put in place, and we've got to constantly adapt and readapt. Now, machine learning can help with that process, but only if you think about the process in which machine learning is used and not treat it as a one-time event. So whatever time you've spent on machine learning or allocated for it, really make sure you've put the right amount of time in place. Maybe it's one and a half times, maybe it's two times. Totally depends on your organization, but again, don't treat it as something that's going to magically solve your problems without spending time understanding how the magic actually works. Okay, so last question for you, Zulfikar. Uh, what do you think about AppSec Cali? The, the venue, the audience, all of that? First of all, I mean, I'm, I've been a huge fan of AppSec in general. I've been working in this area for a long time in different ways, shape, or form. I think it's one of the most important problems facing our community today. Most attackers break in because of an AppSec issue. That's a fundamental issue for all of us. Second, AppSec Cali, what a phenomenal venue. I can't believe I'm here at actually a conference. It feels like a vacation at some level. And the best part about it are the people here. I mean, there's so many really sharp people, super technical minds. I just love interacting with this audience. I learn from everybody I speak with. And I can't wait to see some of the other sessions. And, and I think that everyone's going to have a fantastic time here. Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me.